Today we're going to make a very simple dish from the Mediterranean, which is vegetable couscous. You may want to pause here for the ingredients and the preparation methods. Today we'll be making vegetable couscous. Let's have a look at the ingredients. The main ingredient would be, this is for one serving, one cup of dried couscous. Then we will have one clove of garlic that we have finely minced. A medium size or small size onion that we have finely chopped. One tomato, finely chopped. A small cucumber uh, which we will de-seed and finely chop, Or you can use like a Japanese cucumber which has less seeds. We will have about 1 to 2 tablespoons of sliced black olives to give it more flavour. Now with, to cook the couscous, we will need about double the amount of uh, vegetable stock or if you don't have vegetable stock, we can uh, just use uh, the same amount of water uh, which is double the amount of couscous and uh, some seasoning. Now for the seasoning, we will need some salt. This is for the stock as well as to sprinkle on the vegetables. We'll need some dried herbs. Uh, this you can buy in any uh, supermarket. You can get like a herb mixture uh, that we will use to uh, put into the stock to make it more flavorful, and a pinch of black pepper. Now to tie this all up, we'll need some high quality olive oil to basically give it some richness because uh, you know this is all these are all vegetables, and this will tie up the fresh vegetables with the couscous. So let's start. So we'll bring our stock up to the boil. Now if uh, you're using plain water, uh, we've got to add some salt. And then the dried herbs, just to flavour the stock. And a tad pinch of pepper. Okay. We'll stir it in. Until the herbs are incorporated. Now for the amount of couscous, we'll need about double the amount of stock. So let's wait for the stock to come to a strong boil uh, because we, we want to uh, steep uh, the couscous in the hot water or in the hot stock. Right, so now it's come to a boil. Okay. We'll pour the couscous in, all of it. Give it a quick stir. Now it might seem that there's a lot of stock but it will absorb the liquid. Now keep the flame on. Now until the water is almost absorbed, then we can turn off the flame because we need the heat uh, to help the couscous to uh, absorb the stock. So in a while, it will start absorbing the stock. Now we still have the flame on, so we don't have to cover it for the moment. Once we turn off the flame, we want to cover this for 5 minutes. Alright, so couscous is now boiling. We're going to cover this and we'll turn off the flame and let it steep for 5 minutes. And I'll come back and have a look at it. Now in preparation for the couscous, we'll start by sprinkling some salt onto the fresh vegetables. So I'm just going to, because uh, the vegetables here are not salted and there is uh, no, no, no seasoning to it. Just put some salt to the onions and the tomatoes and the cucumber because the uh, olives are already salted okay, and the garlic as well if you don't like the taste or smell of fresh garlic you can leave the garlic out or you can put the garlic into the stock to cook with the stock that will reduce the uh, harshness of the garlic all right so we've salted the vegetables we're just going to leave it until our couscous has steep so our couscous has been steaming for the last uh, 5 minutes with the flame off. Okay, so this is it. First thing we want to do is, after we've uh, taken our couscous, is to use a fork. We want to fluff up the couscous. We don't want to mash it, right? just fluff it up. And this uh, will help uh, the couscous to be fluffy. Now we want to, uh, actually what I want to do is, 
I'm going to add the garlic into the couscous first. So this could uh, basically reduce some of the uh, harshness of the garlic. And we'll just fluff the garlic in. And half the onions as well. Because this will help reduce the harshness of the uh, onions. So now once we've done that, we'll basically drizzle a little bit of olive oil. Maybe about two or two tablespoons or so. Right. Uh, this will get absorbed into the couscous to make it not stick to each other. Now we can um, add the rest of the uh, other vegetables as much as we like to uh, based on the serving size so we'll add uh, basically our cucumber remember that we have slightly salted the vegetables earlier and some of the tomatoes okay as much as we like to and some of the olives uh, i should have used a larger pot for this but uh, i'm gonna try my best to like fluff it up Okay, now uh, I'm going to plate up and serve this, so I'm going to come back. So I've plated up my vegetable couscous. What I want to do now is to just give a slight sprinkling of salt. Of course, you want to taste for seasoning first, right? to sprinkle enough of salt to make it enough of uh, flavor and seasoning. Okay, and then I'm going to then just drizzle on a little bit more olive oil to give it a bit of richness. Maybe another two to three two tablespoons or so. So there we have it. This is a very simple and fast vegetable couscous. Very fresh, very healthy, and uh, can be made in a quick time. Okay, try it. Enjoy.